Hey, what's up, guys? Pretty here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm back on Clash Royale. We are going to be taking a look at this deck right here today. It does actually look pretty decent. Hog Rider Mega Knight. I know it sounds a bit interesting on paper. However, I'm sure it will be quite good. So I did actually get it from TV Royal. 59th in the world, currently 68th epic slayer so shout out to epic slayer this is the deck we're going to be using and let's see how we do so if you're new to the channel make sure you do go ahead and subscribe and if you happen to want to enjoy this video as well feel free to drop a like rating and a comment both of which are greatly appreciated i plan to upload more this is like day number two of daily uploads so hopefully i can keep the streak going your support does really help so make sure you do that it's greatly appreciated let's jump into a game all right guys here we go game number one right now i nearly said number two but hey i'm jumping the gun so either way let's see what we can do so right now we do have an interesting start in hand my ipad nearly fell over again i don't know why that keeps happening but it always does when i deploy my very first card of the game and now what we'll do is we'll go hog rider in the middle firecracker is of course going to hopefully do okay we probably will actually activate the king tower never mind perfect so the king tower did not get activated i don't know why i went fire spirit actually the fire spirit did not do enough damage to the dark prince which was fine for me and now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll probably go e-wiz yeah we'll deploy the e-wiz right here that should be quite decent and then what we'll do next is we'll go bandit and we'll also go with goblin gang fairly high up he does actually have the tornado and probably like a zap or a log or something nope never mind okay so no spells from the opponent that is okay for me and now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll sacrifice a firecracker like an absolute fool so not really the play i wanted to make right there not really a good play at all actually i did pretty much just like sacrifice three elixir and now he's doing some emotes so does he have ram rider it might be a secret message is he just like doing that emote i'm not really too sure I was playing some guy yesterday, he had a, let's just say an interesting deck, and he did have the, he was doing goblin, I was using the goblin giant deck, I think I've shown it a few times on the channel, but if you've seen my profile, it's the one I'm basically using all the time, but if you've seen it, you know it's of course got the electro giant, I did actually just say that, but either way, the guy was doing electro giant emotes, I thought he recognised the deck I was using, and he did have like some really interesting deck like I mentioned, and he actually turned out to have the Electro Giant as well. So I'm not really too sure. I don't know why I said that story. So please don't ask. The Fire Spirit did actually hit the tower right there. And now what we need to do is try and get a push going. So he does have Pekka Mini Pekka. It really doesn't help our case at all. Makes it quite a challenging match. Especially. Are you kidding me? I was literally just talking about this card. In what world are we. Like what even are we facing right now? I have no idea to be honest. And yeah, we'll probably lose this game. I, again, I have no idea what we're facing. Pekka Mini Pekka as well as the Electro Giant. It's not really a deck I've seen before anyway. So again, misplay on the Firecracker, allowing her to get eliminated right there. Dark Prince will just go down. It's basically a waste of time even deploying him. And I feel like we didn't really get the greatest of matchups in this game. So I don't know, it's definitely not over yet. We hopefully can save the E-Wiz. Never mind, the Fire Spirits will, of course, eliminate the viewers over time, I'd imagine. And now we can get some decent, like, value. <laughs> well, I say that, but the Electro Giant is slowly just taking everything out right now. So, again, I'm not really sure if we'll win this one. He does have Earthquake, which definitely doesn't help at all either. And we'll try and stun the Electro Giant. Perfect, that actually worked out well for us. He does have the pack I could Should have probably pushed the other lane thinking about it, but... Again, it's kind of too late right now. He does have Tornado as well, so it's not really a an ideal matchup for us at all. And we will see if we can win. He All he has to do is just like spell us out, and of course he'll eventually pick up the win over time. But there it is. I mean, I'm sure all he has to do, to be honest, is... Yeah, there we go. Literally nothing I could have really done right there, so... I don't know. Hopefully game number two is a little bit better. Let's jump right into it. Alright guys, here we go. Game number two right now. Let's see if I can actually win this one. That would be quite nice. So it looks like we're going to be facing a Golem player, which is always rather interesting. I do expect him to have Tornado, and there it is. I did think it before he did it, so if it didn't really sound like a prediction, in fact it was. So Yeah, there it is. There it is indeed. There is the Golem. So I think what I'll do is I'll... Oh my word. 
I, I don't even know. I've, I'm just gonna lose again. Like, I feel like whatever I do at the minute on this game just isn't going to really work out too well. I don't know why, but that's just how it seems to be going today. I'm sure you've had one of those days as well. And sadly, it seems to be that day for me right now. So, Firecracker will go down. Never mind, she actually knocks herself back right there. We'll go all in right now. We'll try and get a little bit of damage. Goblin Cage is pretty much just going to shut us down right there. And that is probably... I don't know. I don't want to say the game. I don't think it's over yet, but you can see where I'm going with it. And now the Mother Witch. Mother Witch, apparently I'm on a different game. So, I don't know. I can't really see us winning. I mean, we still have a chance, but I just don't see it. I, I don't. So, we'll see what we can do. If we can push, like, the opposite lane, I'm just going to go all in. I know it looks absolutely ridiculous, but it is what it is. Sometimes in life, you just have to make some really bold plays. So, you're probably Tornado. At least that's what I'd imagine. Maybe not, actually. Okay, that's quite surprising. I did expect a Tornado right there. Looks like we will not be seeing that. We'll go with the Ewas over here. Should be able to hit both. And then what we'll do is we'll go Dark Prince for the Bomber and the... I don't know about that Tornado. That Tornado was a bit interesting. Not really sure if that was the play to make. I feel like my units would have gone down anyway. But now we do actually have a decent chance. We've managed to somehow, should I say, like turn this game around. He probably does have Lightning Spell as well, I'd imagine. So we just need to always consider that. What we'll do now is we'll just go over here. He did actually just go Golem, which isn't really the play you want to make right there. At least in my opinion, it isn't anyway. And now what we'll do is we'll go Dark Prince at the back for the Golem. We did get loads of good damage right there with the Hog Rider. And we'll actually go with the Ewers over here as well. We'll respawn the Firecracker because we've already cycled back to it right now. And then we just need to try and save for Mega Knight. And that should pretty much like eliminate this entire push right here. So all... Yeah, there it is. So the push does go down. Firecracker did actually get some like decent value as well in terms of the, the bats. And then we'll just go Bandit on top of the bomber just to make sure the bomber doesn't lock onto the tower. And the Hog Rider should hopefully get a fade away, which he did. And what I'm going to do now is it's going to look really strange, but yeah, it didn't work. So I tried to go for a like a pocket e -wiz. I don't even know what you want to call it, like a surprise e -wiz. That's usually what I call it, a surprise and card name, but... Sadly, it didn't really work. I'm sure if we just get a Hog Rider going in, we can pretty much just win the game right here. We'll go with a Zap Spell as well. And he's actually back to Goblin Cage already. So, Hog Rider locks on. There we go. And that's going to be the game. So, that's a true story of never giving up. And that's why you can win games, even if you have a bad start. Alright guys, here we go. Game number three right now. Let's see if we can pick up another win. Hopefully, I can. At least if we get a 66% win rate, it will still be... Quite decent in my opinion, let me know what you think down below. So, we do see the Goblin Barrel, hopefully I can hit all three, which I did manage to do. And that was quite a decent play, in my opinion. So, we do see the Firecracker from the opponent. I do want to try and activate the King Tower with it, so I'm just going to... Okay, interesting. Maybe not, so we won't go the... I was going to try and get the Firecracker to activate the King Tower, then I decided against it because it's not really worth it. Fortunately for me, he didn't do it to mine, and now this one is still undecided who's going to win. But I feel undecisive, I don't even know what the word would be. And he's got the P.E.K.K.A. as well, so interesting. Not really sure, again, what we're facing. P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight, some very interesting decks today. Hog Rider as well. It would be nice if I could actually get a card or two down. But it looks like for some reason I wasn't really able to do so. Hopefully we can just take this Goblin Barrel out, which we did. And now we'll try and get the Firecracker to not shoot the Goblins. The Bandit does actually get eliminated at the very last second. And now the Dark Prince does take the Firecracker out right there. Hopefully he charges the tower, and he does indeed. So this one's looking decent. We are still down in damage. However, he does have Pekka and Mega Knight. It seems like my voice is slightly going. So hopefully it doesn't. I don't know why it does this, but whenever I talk, well, I don't talk, but you know what I mean. For some reason, whenever I record, it just goes like this. So I don't know. So yeah, I just tried to clear it. Hopefully that's a bit better. Sorry for the quick edit right there, but I don't know. He did actually go with the Packer, which is quite an interesting play. Because if he went with the Mega Knight, we pretty much would have got no damage at all. The only concern I've got right now is in case he, if he goes like Mega Knight, 
as well. However, he didn't do what I expected him to do. So, Executioner as well. Interesting. A very interesting deck, at least in my opinion it is anyway. We'll go with this. I've deployed a bit too late. And sadly, we did not really get the, the value I was looking for right there. And now we'll just go Bandit over here. Bandit should hopefully help us out a bit. You just don't want to take any damage really from the Firecracker or anything. But it looks like the Firecracker was actually getting decent damage right there. So Mega Knight is going to lock on. I don't know why I zapped because that's what the E-Wiz already did. He does have E-Wiz as well. Again, I literally have no idea what we're facing. No idea at all. And hopefully we can still do something, mate. Like at least pick up a win. So... He's going to rocket. That's going to be the game. There's no way we can just take the tower. And sadly, we do go down. So, I think I would have won. If I had a spell, I'm sure I would have won. And now, yeah, we sadly did lose. So, I don't know. The deck's definitely got, like, potential. I'm sure I could have probably play played a bit better. But I'm sure if you're in, like, top 100, you don't really face decks like this, for example. Or like this. So, I don't know. Probably not, like, the best showcase for this, like, deck. But... Again, it is what it is. It's ladder. You have to sometimes face random decks. And sadly, that's what I did today. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give it a try. Let me know if you do. And let me know what you think. So thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.